Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to install ambient music mod on any device. Now do note there are some requirements when installing this program. You 1. Have an ARM64 device, 2. Are running Android 9 or newer, although Android 11 and higher is recommended, and 3. Are rooted if you're on Android 12 or lower. Now Android 12, 12.1, 12 and 13, 14, whenever that does come out, they do not need root. So I'll be guiding you how to install. So. First, I'm going to leave a link to, uh, let me just pull up the GitHub. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description. Um, so ambient music mod, I have found it. And then click releases. Now at the time of recording this, I'm at 2.02. .02. I'm going to click the latest APK and then install it once it's done. If I hit my tripod, install. Once it's done, I click open, click get started, and it should say failed to connect to Shizuku if you have not used Shizuku before. Now do note this is on Android 12 and higher. Uh, you don't need root using this on Android 12 and higher. Well, on lower version 11, 10, 9, you will need root. So once Shizuku installs, let me just do this, um, I would recommend starting it via computer although since i have root i can just start it with root grant you can see shizuku is running i can click this ambient music mod then go to ambient music mod which i'm going to be placing here now if it doesn't connect uh there you go uh, you can change the settings required charging to download content Wi-Fi only, and since I have unlimited data on my other phone, I will be removing this. Now for selecting a country, select whatever country you're in, although I would keep it automatic. I'm just gonna select Canada for the sake of it. And you will see downloading a now playing APK. Now this is a service to run now playing on any Android device. Um, it will connect to Google Frameworks, although this is all open source, well, apart from the Google stuff used. Uh, you can find all the source code on GitHub that I will be linking in the description, like I said. Once it's done, you can click Start Install, click uh, Install Ambient Music Mod, and then oop, Start Install. Done. Now, it will ask you for permissions. So you wanna click Grant Permissions, allow uh, like recording audio and making phone calls. And then you wanna disable battery optimization. Once it's done, it will download a database. I will be back when this database finishes downloading. You can see that there's 53,682 tracks in the music database, and you can see it is working. Uh, one thing I will note, if the default settings are not working, you can click Settings, Advanced, Gain, and you can change the gain. Now you should read the note, a uh, higher gain will increase noise and use with care. Uh, you may also have to tick use alternative encoding, which uses a different way. It may reduce extortion or fix it on some devices. And you may also need to enable some other settings. Just play around with the settings if it isn't working for you. For me, it does work on stock. Now, if you want to save battery, uh, you can disable at bedtime uh, or, you know, uh, change the recognition period. Although I will keep it on one for stock. Recognition buffer, this is just like a buffer between recognitions. It's fun. One thing I will say, battery does drain faster when you're using this. Now in Quinny's testing, it was only 5% between, I don't know how many hours, but it was between 56 songs, which is a decent amount. In my testing at school today, I got uh, better, like roughly the same, slightly, slightly worse uh, screen on time than I would normally. Uh, it wasn't that big of a hit, but that might be because I have a 4000 milliamp hour battery in this phone. So I will be comparing this to a Pixel. I'm just gonna prop these up here, unlock my Pixel, and we're just gonna see which one detects the song faster. So we're gonna play Resonance by Home right now.
Now you can see based on that my OnePlus phone was faster, although in many cases that I've tried my Pixel was faster and it just picked it up like that. For this phone it took a little bit of time. Now this is because this isn't native and you know you shouldn't just count on this always working. But it, it works well enough that you know you can use this day to day, with, uh, although you should test battery drain. Uh, another thing for on demand, I will show you how to enable this. I can enable it because I already had set up. So go to the FAQ and scroll all the way down. I can't get on device recognition. It's like a couple of lines below this. On demand is not compatible with my device. See here. If it shows this, uh, you will need the Magisk module, uh, just install it in Magisk. Although if it shows update Google app, which in my case it did, uh, just follow my steps. So navigate to APK mirror and you want to dig through all of these. So if I click on the latest, you want to look for a bundle. You can see I uh, don't have any bundles. Uh, the second one does not, ooh, does, does have one bundle, although not the bundle I'm looking for. Do note the bundle should have 0.29 dot from 64, not APK. I will emphasize it should be a bundle. Nothing here. And I know 13.22.15 has bundles. So you can see 13.22.15.29 ARM64 bundle 1S. You can see download bundle APK. Now I already have this bundle, so it is fine. Um, I'm uh, just, we just have to wait a little bit. Uh, to install this, you will need the APK APK, uh, APK mirror install app. So APK, you could just probably search APKM. I'm struggling to do that. And then you can see I have it. You just install it, open it, allow permissions, and then you will see Google's quick search box, the APKM. So install this. I'll be back when this finishes installing. Okay, so we are back after it installed and you can see on demand is now on and working for me. One thing I will say of note, Go to the Play Store, go to the Google app, and disable auto-update. It will still auto-update. It's a Play Store bug. I cannot fix it. Blame Google. That's all I'm going to say. So, to change, uh, you can have this on the lock screen, and to change the position of this, click lock screen, show on lock screen, ambient music mod, enable, allow, and change position. Also enable on demand, and it should be working just fine. Oh, there's an awkward cut here, but I wanted to thank you guys all for watching this video. And if you made it through the entire video, thank you all, of course. You can like, comment, share, subscribe. It does not matter. Uh, I don't care what you do. I just do this for my passion. I hope I helped you enable now playing on your device. Uh, if I didn't, or your device isn't supported, I'm very sorry. Uh, I can't help you because I don't have your device and I can't figure out the settings to use. But yeah, that's all for me. Thank you guys for watching again. Peace out.